Peacock and we've checked into the Akira Hotel uh, on Succumbit 20. Um, we've been at the pool most of the afternoon and um, got a bit hot uh, so we decided to come out and shower, get changed and we're going to head up back to the rooftop pool uh, bar area and there is a barbecue on tonight um, for the tiny year so that's where we're going to head shortly. Josh is just about to get in the shower and I'm about to do my makeup so I thought I would start vlogging from here. I'm just putting a bit of concealer on because uh, we didn't have a really good night's sleep last night. We got back uh, into our room about half past two in the morning and we had set our alarms for eight o'clock um, because we needed to get to the gym and um, have breakfast and book a taxi to Bangkok. We were in Pattaya, um, you've probably seen from my many Instagram posts and uh, blog. If you don't view my blog, then that is www.lalanafern.com. Um, and that's the blog A N A for anybody wondering. Um, most people think my name is actually Lana or Lana, but it's not, it's Lalana. So, in fact, in Thai, um, they, they say it as Lalana. Um, which is, uh, so the name is Thai. My mum used to watch a programme when she was a teenager and there was a girl called Lalana on her on the telly and uh, I think that's why she wanted to call me her because I think apparently she was very beautiful. So I hope her um, mum kind of up to those expectations. Like I don't, I try not to wear a lot of makeup on holiday. In fact, I, I don't wear it through the week at home at all. I don't know if you saw my um, two years ago. I vlogged. I haven't done anything pretty much in between, but um, I vlogged our Thailand trip, and I was just I was looking back at some of the footage, and I used to have all these spots like all that like across here, up here. It was absolutely gross, but thankfully. It's all disappeared now. Um, we actually got a facial yesterday at um, the Central Festival Plaza, shopping plaza in Patia. About 12 pounds 50 each. Um, it was an hour. Uh, so you get your face scrubbed and uh, your eyebrows, any strays plucked. Um, oh, what else did they do? Oh, they got all, like, all my blackheads out of here. Which, to be honest, I don't really have that many anymore. I don't really know what's happened to my skin. Like, my skin and my hair have both changed, like, in the past couple of years. And it's actually really nice to not have to worry about my skin, because I absolutely hated it. Like, I hated it. So, just being able to put a bit of, like, bio oil on my face and um, go out of the house and not have to look at myself looking like an absolute mess is great. I mean, I know a lot of people do get spots and people think that when you have spots that you're dirty and you don't wash your face. And it's not true at all because I tried everything. I used to like wash my face in boiling hot water and nothing got rid of them. Um, one thing I do think that has helped um, is that I changed my pill. So I was on my, I can't remember, it was with an M, and um, I was on that for a very long time. And I went to doctors, told them that I wanted to change my pill, that I was having all these spots, and my friend had told me that she had changed and her skin had cleared up. Um, but I didn't get put on the same one, I got put on a different one, it was called Yasmin. Um, and like two, three months down the line, like, no spots. Honestly, it's great. It's the best thing, like, ever. Um, 
Okay, that's all I'm doing for my makeup. I've just put so just concealer under my eyes, a little bit of bronzer, um, a bit of blush on my uh, apples of my cheeks, and um, some mascara. But I'm also actually going to put on some highlighter because just gives you that nice little dewy glow, which um, is nice for holiday. I don't really do my makeup often, only on weekends. So um, this is a L'Oreal. Glamour Armour one. Um, I used to have a Laura Mercier powder which was really nice, it lasted like ages. I think I bought it actually last time I came to Thailand and it's only just run out so that was two years ago. And you should probably change your makeup um, more often than every two years but uh, it just that's how long it lasted so I didn't want to throw it. Um, but I really like this one because it's just like it's really shiny and like it's got a bit of gold in so it's I just think gold works really nice with um, my skin complexion and I sometimes put a bit on that little bit I normally dot, dot it on but yeah I'm just going to straighten my hair and um, hopefully Josh will be ready to go soon so I'm just going to go and get the hair straighteners because they're still in my suitcase. Oh, how cute are these little mugs? So I got some bowls actually which are pretty much the same from Max and Spencer's. And um, I'm actually thinking about taking some home because we want to get our own house this year. And we are in the process of looking. Um, no look yet, unfortunately. Um, but I want to start just getting some bits together. I do have like some stuff that I bought years ago, but that's in storage and it's probably all stuff that I don't even like anymore. So, hmm. Oh, God. I think it's about time I also got some new hair shaders because these have been with me for about 15 years. Five, ten years, not five, ten years, like five, six years. And honestly, don't take any hair tips from me because I don't know what to do with my hair, I just straighten it. And I don't even straighten it that well. Although, all of the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using here on holiday, which is just stuff from the, uh, from the hotel, is really lovely. Um, I didn't have any weight left in my suitcase to take bottled hair and shampoo. Um, I don't actually use bald hair and shampoo, conditioner or anything anymore. Um, I buy this stuff from Lush but I didn't actually have any cases for it so I didn't know what to put it in. So if any of you guys know how you can get little bars of shampoo that are like wet because I've been using them, then let me know. I know that they have a few cases. I've got a friend um, who I used to work with at M&S, she gave me one of the like um, round cases but uh, the conditioners aren't the same shape so they don't fit. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready and stop rambling on and stop boring you. Um, I'll see you on the rooftop. Okay, this is the final outfit. Um, top is just from Pretty Little Thing, I think it was literally like £10 and then I got the Zara like Palazzo linen pants from Zara, um, they were also in the sale, but yeah, quite like this look, very comfy apart from you can maybe see my nipples a little bit but I kind of like my legs covered at night because um, I get bitten quite a lot by mosquitoes. I've already got one massive bite on my leg which has gone like a massive rash. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm allergic. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but they really like me for some reason. So I cover my legs up and then I put plenty of this spray on. So, can she? Ooh. Skin Soft and it's from Avon. Uh, it makes your skin like really, really soft. 
and um, apparently mosquitoes don't like it so we use that instead of buying the expensive mosquito spray from Boots. <laughs> Tea? No. Why not? No. Why? No, babe. No. Oh my god. No. You just talk about your tea. No. Yet. I'm not into it. Okay, but well, you have to sit next to me. What did we have though? Come on. No. Why? I don't want to. Come on. No. Be brave. No, why do you think so? Be brave. No. <laughs> okay, fine. What did we have? What was it called? Cow Sao Nua. And it was like a traditional northern dish with fried noodles in like a red curry sauce and beef. That was really nice. And then we had a burger to share as well. Didn't we, Joshua? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I was try as I was trying to say before that we had a fabulous tea um, up at the restaurant on the roof. It was um, a traditional Northern Thai meal. Uh, I think it was called Khao Sao Nua. Um, so Nua is beef, so you could probably have it with another meat, but I think it's traditionally served with beef. And um, it's with like the fried noodles, um, so they're really crispy on top. I'll pop a picture here, um, so you can kind of see. Um, yeah, then underneath they're just like normal noodles. I thought, wow, like, oh, I think this is my new favourite Thai meal. I mean, I have a few favourites, but this one, this one was pretty good. So now I'm gonna, um, just take my makeup off and I think we're gonna put something on Netflix. And um yeah. Have an early night. Josh is gonna actually watch the Man United match on his phone later, so yeah, I'll be fast asleep for that because it's like half eleven and um we were out late last night. So I guess I will bring you along with me tomorrow. I'm not sure really what we are going to do. I know Josh wants to go to Lumpini Park because there is the uh, monitor lizards, I think they're called. So they're there. So we want to go and see those. And I'd also like to go on a boat um, over the river and to Wat Arun. Wat Arun? Wat Arun. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, we want to go there because um, Dad said he did it last year and he thought it was really, really pretty. Uh, and the temple's made of like mosaic tiles um, which is very different compared to the other um, kind of temples here in Bangkok so yeah we're going to have a look and yeah and so I bid you farewell Turn your magic on to me he'd say everything you want so dream away
going to try and walk most of it, but then if we get too hot we might just catch a taxi. But we thought it would be nice to maybe see a bit more of Bangkok that we, we haven't seen before. So, bring on the tan. Can you count to five? Noon, song, sang. No. Melbourne. Go on, say again. Noon, song, sam, si, ha. We're going for tea at the Iron Fairies. Um, we've been there a few years ago when Josh first came to Bangkok and it was really good. They had like a jazz artist on um, and they serve amazing beef burgers. So we're going to go and have some food. It's getting quite late, it's about half eight I think. So we're going to go and have some food and maybe a few drinks and then come home because we're leaving tomorrow for Chiang Mai. Uh, where we'll meet my mum, dad and brother. Um, I'll show you my outfit quickly. This is my outfit. A um, little sparkly gold top with a backless back and my really comfy, silky, wide neck trousers um, from Zara. Oh, this is from Pretty Little Thing. And then I just have my... What bag is it? Sophie Hume bag that Josh got me a few Christmases ago. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take my camera though, so um, probably speak tomorrow. Good morning. Um, I can't remember where I left it last night. I think I told you we were going to the Iron Fairies, but we went outside and went and asked one of the meter taxis how much it would be, and they were kind of charging a bit. Uh, well over the odds and they actually showed us on the map that the traffic was horrendous so it was taking us quite a long time to get there and we were just hungry we couldn't really be bothered we thought we might get wet so we came back into the hotel and came back to the rooftop bar where we went the night before and um, just had dinner there god I sound really croaky I think it's the aircon and maybe walking around Bangkok last night uh, yesterday but um Today uh, we're heading to Chiang Mai, Josh is currently at the gym because he didn't go yesterday, I've decided to call it day to day and not gym, not exercise, just chill, um, post a blog post on my blog and start packing my bags when I get a chance um, because we'll be leaving about half eleven uh, for the airport. Um, and then we need breakfast, so I'm just waiting for Josh to come back and we'll probably head down for breakfast. Um, so yeah, I might leave this vlog here actually. Um, I'm thinking of starting maybe a new one in Chiang Mai because I've probably got enough footage for my Bangkok vlog. But we'll see. Mm, maybe I'll bring you to breakfast with me and... Um, you can see what I ordered because the menu is amazing. So, so good. Um, so yeah, I'll see you soon. I don't know when. I don't know where. But I'll see you soon. Mm, Nutella and banana pancake. Fresh fruit. Josh also wants one too. And I've just got my fresh eggs. Is that good? Yeah.